Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to do a quick comparison of linear versus angular motion. So let's get started. Now, remember we said in a previous video that linear motion and angular motion are what we call analogous. That means they are very similar to each other. And in actual fact, here is a summary of the variables. So we can compare them side by side to show that they are just different forms of the same thing. So for linear motion, we've got displacement s, but the angular form of that in angular motion is angular displacement theta. For linear motion, we've got initial velocity u and angular motion, initial angular velocity omega naught. We've then got final velocity v for linear motion compared to final angular velocity omega for angular motion. And then we've got acceleration a for linear motion versus angular acceleration alpha for angular motion. And lastly, time t is the same in both because we don't have an angular form of time. And lastly, here is a summary of the equations of motion using these variables. So we've got equations of linear motion here and equations of angular motion here. So you'll see that by comparing them side by side, they're actually very similar. So we have v equals u plus at for linear motion and omega equals omega naught plus alpha t for angular motion. We then have s equals ut plus a half at squared for linear motion and theta equals omega naught t plus a half alpha t squared for angular motion. And lastly, v squared equals u squared plus 2es for linear motion and omega squared equals omega naught squared plus 2 alpha theta for angular motion. So hopefully you can see the similarities between all of these quantities and how linear motion and angular motion are analogous. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found value in it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.